Hey guys, thank you for joining me this Wednesday for this devotional. Um, real quick, this is going to tie into my Saturday with Stanley video. Um, today we're going to be uh, addressing half of the equation. And um, this thought comes up to me because I just recently uh, reread a book written by Beth Felker Jones entitled Practicing Christian Doctrine. And uh, the book has a easy to explain premise. Um, Beth Felker Jones writes she is going to um, walk through an introduction to Christian theology, and um, at the end of each section where she has just explained uh, the different doctrines, the different areas of Christian theology, um, she is then going to um, explain like what is why does it matter. What is it supposed to do? Um, what actions should it cause us to have? Um, now, I I noted in my Goodreads review of the book, um, Beth Felker Jones is kind of vague in the, the practices that it causes, but um, she does bring up an issue that a lot of us have, um, and that's, uh, on the one hand, there's a lot of us who... Um, hear like theology or, um, you know, these kind of really deep in-depth studies and ideas, and we just kind of are like, I don't really need that. Um, and uh, instead, you, you want something practical, you want something you can do, and that's the only thing that you really want to hear, that you really want to talk about. Um, on, on the other extreme... There are a lot of people who don't really care about talking about all the stuff that you do. Like, they want the theology. They want all the thoughts. Um, it's this kind of dichotomy between uh, the, the mind and the body, between our thoughts and our actions. And a lot of times we tend to want only one of those. Um, so give me all the thoughts. Give me these really deep thoughts. Um, inspire me in my thinking. Or give me these clear actions, show me what I'm supposed to do, um, and we we don't really want to hear all of the thoughts, and uh, I'm going to address both of those this week. Uh, today I'm going to address uh, the desire that will probably pop up more in the devotional stream, the devotional group uh, of really wanting concrete actions instead of these thoughts. And on Saturday, I'm going to address the mind, um, the people who only want thoughts and not actions. Um, so do make sure that after you check out this video, you check out the, the Saturday video. Um, once I post the Saturday video, I'm going to make sure that I have links to both videos in the description. So be looking for that. Um, but it, it's really easy to go to churches today. And get a lot of teaching about things that you should do or things you shouldn't do. Um, you know, you'll you can go to to church after church and hear sermons about um, the attitudes that you should have, the, the habits that you should be forming, the sins that you should not be committing, and for us to think that um, you know th this is all very helpful and it, it is it's very practical. Um, it it helps to address a move away from looking at how our Christian faith is lived out. Um, what becomes a problem is when that's the only thing we end up doing. And so we end up going from one practice to the next without ever really understanding why that practice is important for our faith and you just get these random actions without bringing together a complete whole. And, and who knows what practices you end up advocating for. The Christian church has advocated for a whole host of practices, a whole host of actions that haven't always been good. And uh, a lot of times what ends up happening is we, we see this practice as beneficial for the time being. And so we figure out how to explain that with our faith. Um, we find the, the practice or the habit, we find the action, and then we come up with an explanation for it. Um, 
But all of Christian thought and, and all of Christian morality, the things that Christianity says is good and moral, all of that is supposed to stem from our understanding of who God is. Uh, from our understanding of who God is, who Jesus is, what that means for us. And if we're not careful, we will come up with a whole bunch of actions that, that sound great and seem nice and are easy to do, and they don't really upset anyone, but they aren't actually grounded in any kind of Christian truth. Now, I, I do get, it's really easy to get um, into the ivory towers of academia and hear all of these thoughts, and, um, and we, we'll get to all of that. But, but just because you can find people who are in their ivory towers who don't have any kind of real morality, their actions don't back up their words, they come up with all these nice thoughts, but they aren't living a life that you think they should live, doesn't mean that the life of thought doesn't matter. That Life of thought is what ties all of these actions, is what really helps give them meaning and purpose and value. And when we take that life of thought away from these actions, eventually what's going to end up happening is we're going to start making a bunch of people who know how to act a certain way who don't know who God is. It is central to the Christian faith. That we love God, not just with our strength, but with our mind. We are complete people. And that means that we can't just focus on all the things that we do. We have to focus on the things that we think. Our actions are going to be derived from our thoughts. We're not going to be able to pull them apart that easily. As easy as it is for us to latch quickly onto these, these devotional thoughts that say, okay, well, I'll just start doing this thing, or I'll start doing this thing, and everything will be fine. At some point, we have to think about God. And that's the role of Christian theology. And when it is at its best, these, these thoughts that we have will get fully lived out in the actions and the practices that we have. And when it's at its best, these practices that we have will be coming out of and will be properly shaping our thoughts about who God is. But for a while now, Christianity, at least in the United States, the Christianity that I know, that I've grown up around, has taken an easy way of saying, okay, well, you're going to have your actions and your practices up here, and you're going to have your, your, your thoughts and your beliefs over here, and there's only going to be a loose connection. We're either going to focus on all of the thoughts and then actions. Well, you know, pray, read your Bible, you know, maybe do something good for someone else. And that's going to be about it. But, but oh my goodness, like, look at all these great thoughts. Or we're going to say, look at all these actions. Here are the moral actions, the political actions. Here's the things we're doing for other people. Here's um, all the devotional things that we're doing to help ourselves think about God. Here's, here's all the actions. Here are all the actions. Here are all the actions. And oh yeah, here's, you know, a thought or two that, are, are there, and they're kind of vague so that it's not too much. And, and that's kind of where it's at. Instead, we should have all of those actions. We should be acting in the world, loving other people, living deep devotional lives where we are deeply practicing disciplines, and at the same time, thinking deeply, taking time to think about God. And, and of course, all of us are going to tend one way or another. All of us are going to be more action-oriented or more thought-oriented. And there are other ways that you, 
You could be too. It could be more emotionally oriented. Um, maybe you really connect with God through nature. There are all sorts of other ways that you could be um, pointed to God than just thoughts or actions. Just thoughts or actions. But, and this is this is a huge thing, as much as we will tend to drift toward one or the other, we have to address whichever one we don't tend toward. And for those of us who are more devotional, who are more focused on actions, we have to tend toward our thought life or else we are going to be seriously harmed in the life of devotional action that we practice. You have to make sure you're really grounded and firm in the life that you feel God the closest with, but you also then have to reach out into these other areas or else you're not going to move forward in the Christian life because we are whole people. We are not just doing things. We are not just thinking things. We are beings who do and who think. And I pray that this week, for those of you who are more of the, the doing type, the devotional type, I pray that you will spend some time in trying to think a little bit more deeply about who God is. And I pray that all of you will join me again on Saturday as we look at the ways that our, our thinking can't dominate ourselves as well. God bless you all. Take care.